Yeah, you already know it's your boy Joe back again. All right, man. We already know coding phase, man. We still gonna continue building this Netflix app, man. Don't get tired. I know the last videos were too long. I understand that, but trust me, this is how you're gonna learn, man. You're gonna see a couple of mistakes. You're gonna see a couple of things, you know, that happens. But that's how you actually learn. Trust me. If I did those mistakes, you're gonna do it too, and you know that's normal. There ain't nothing wrong with that. But listen, okay. So let's get back to you know. Let's get back to the point. Now, basically, we're gonna create this this background image, right? You know, for the moment, we're gonna take any image. I already went on, on the internet and found this one. A pretty cool, you know, poster of, of the Batman, right? So we come in here, we go copy, copy the URL, and we say, hey, if we wanted to build, you know, the page with a regular image and show it as a regular image, we will do it like this. We will say image source, which is SRC, and then equals the URL of you know where the image is at where's the address and you will say okay give me that and then the image will show up here but this is actually too big right this is humongous this is actually out of control right now so what I would do is I would go online and say okay I want to create this to be the background so you create you know you go in you search full screen background image and you say okay cool let me see what they have online see what other people have done you know fills the entire page with image no white space that's sort of what we want so we'll say okay let's copy this this code and say okay let's put it here we actually don't want this image here as an image because you see what's the problem here right this thing is is humongous we want to have more control of it so for us to have more control, we'll say, okay, let's put this inside of the large image, um, image section, right? Which is this, inside of this div. So let's put inside that ID of large image and let's paste it here. Copy the URL, copy it, which is command C. And then you put in the URL inside of it. All right so let me move this so it could be better readable okay All right now let's see how that looks okay it's in the background let's remove this image from here and let's see how it actually looks see right now that's all we're getting right now for the moment right but at least now you see how to create how to put the images in the background right so right now at the moment this thing is centered so we actually want to see batman first so we'll say here put this to the left and then this what this means is it's centered vertically so it's showing you whatever's in the, the middle of, you know, of the image, but vertically. So this is horizontal and this is vertical. And what this is saying, this is fixed. So this is a fixed size. So no matter where you go, it's always going to be in the same spot. It's going to be stuck, right? So what you do is, okay, let's run it. Let's see what happens. See, now we can see Batman, right? Technically, if the pic, the image is like that, you see a full screen, you get to see everybody, right? But at least for the moment, we want to see Batman, right? Now, let's say, let's come here, and let's give some space to this. Let's go to the large image and put some space and say, padding. There's another trick about padding. Like, let's say if I wanted to say, I want 200 pixels on top and 200 pixels on bottom. I will put it there, 200 pixels. And then if I wanted to say I want 50 pixels, matter of fact, let's keep it the same as here. 25 
pixels to the left and 25 pixels to the right what I, I would do is I would say okay 25 pixels so this right here gives me a padding where now all of this is in the same place you see that and now we actually centered vertically the the text because we're saying okay give me 200 pixels here and give me 200 pixels here so now the text is actually in the middle you see that we almost getting there man we're gonna make something similar to this not exactly the same which we could actually do exactly the same if we had every single image and if we wanted to you know go all out but right now what's important is about what you're actually learning it's not really how it's gonna look if you want exactly like netflix we're gonna take the styles of netflix the type of way of how they created it and make it our own way all right so i'll see you in the next video